welcome to this week's episode where we're diving Devonshire Bay at sunset. And look at what this one is wearing. Hey. What is oh, that? Can I what is that? These are our Galapagos heated vests, but let me explain myself. I'm just testing it out for the winter. What, what's on the side? Battery packs. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. She is going to be angering the diving gods. It's only 26, 27 degrees no, no, Celsius. No, I'm just and... testing it out, guys. I'm going to three mil. Right, let's go. <laughs> See how this goes. Great. Me. It's called DIY before you ask. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taping my fins up. Mares, Mares, can you send me another pair, please? Thank you. She's an inspiration to young divers. Sponsor of Mara's. <laughs> I'm not putting that in, Absolutely don't worry. Not. Okay. They look, they look like they're gonna work. They do actually. Trying to elongate the time at which I can use these. That's your new word today. Elongate. Elongate. Yep, You've used it a time. It's on? It's on now. Hey guys, I'm just talking about how I look a bit like a marshmallow and I have my heated vest, so I'm toasting the marshmallow, so I'm basically a s'more. <laughs> Where's the chocolate center? I don't have one. Oh. Another day, another dive track. Hey guys, we're diving Devonshire Bay tonight. It's round about sunset time. Uh, we have a couple lights. It's going to be a bit of a dusk, dusk, dawn, dusk dive dusk. this evening. Um, so, so what's yeah. the dive site actually? I like Devonshire Bay a lot. We've From, got, go. Yes, what? It's probably what, one of our favorite dive sites. Yeah, where are we going? I go that way. Excuse me? Right. Okay, here you go. Okay, we're we'll going right. Focus on the path ahead. Holly's got focus, she can't moist task. As we walk through the jungle to get to the entrance to avoid the big swim through, the swim out, because it's a huge swim out. But we've got to hit the breakers, follow the cables out, okay. hit depth. Down? Yeah, let's go down there. Still people have to dock. Here we are going in oh the unusual entrance. Oh boy. But there's a but there's a big breaker, so we've got to work our way around that. Find the cables, get to the cables. We're just trying to cut a shortcut to avoid the really really long swim out to this dive site. But now it's probably more sketch. It's always fun. Babe, look at the waves breaking there. Are we going in there? There's a breaker right there. This might be one of the dumbest things we've done. But, climb down. We're really check getting through this. Okay, let's do this. Watch out, babe. Some dumb shit, don't we? Yeah, are you ready to go? Yeah, I don't know how we get through that. We'll figure it out when we get there. Cool. As we finally made it into the bay with those big waves and breakers, we start trying to make our way out to the deep reef. I was waiting quite a while for Mark. Oh yeah, surprise, I'm on voiceover this week. Um, well, he was taking ages to get in the water and he didn't see all the um, parrotfish that came by here as well. Well, I kind of did because I'm filming just now. But as, we're, <laughs> as we were moving out, you can see we were really having to fight the surge. We were holding onto the rocks. Don't worry, it's not coral, it's just rocks as Holly goes and gets smashed mm. by another wave there. 
but we continue swimming out towards the breakers. And how did you find actually trying to get through these breakers, like get through this surge? It was actually really cool because if you held on, it was like a little bit of a roller coaster, and then suddenly it would propel you forward, and you'd do one nice big thing kick and be right over top of the breaker, right in with all the other fish. As you can see, Holly's checking back to see if I'm still there, still alive because she was doing it nice and easily going through smooth because she's small and apparently I'm a whale so it took me a bit Whoa, hard time to get through. I never said that. As we finally get towards the break, one of the breakers and we're just working away how are we getting over this without getting smacked up and smashed in this breaker. But it wasn't actually that bad was it? No, if you check back to our diving and rip current video it kind of reminded me of that. Which will tag up above but as you can see Holly wait for the propel of the wave and got through and we finally got through and there's a celebratory dance. Boom. As you can see, it was pretty cool with the sun coming through, just giving us that sunset as we head out, and we had to have the customary selfie, just to show how cool we look, how stupid we look. What do you reckon? I have nothing to say. <laughs> she has nothing to say, so stupid. But what was really cool about this Queen Angelfish spot is it actually had, what, two tail bits there. If you look at the top part, it's like split in two, or do you think it's, or it might even be growth of two? So if you guys know if that's just like a mutation or it's actually been bitten by something ripped, let us know. Now here I am saving the earth. I found a big chunk of um, rope, took it off of a nice fan coral, but Mark didn't realize I was doing this, so he actually swam away from me while I was doing this. And then I came back with this big bit of rope. Always doing her bit for the ocean, protecting the ocean. And then we finally found the arch that we were looking for. A few weeks ago, we actually went out to this arch and free dived it. And I was terrible free diving it, but you managed to do it quite easily because I suck at free diving, as you all know. But we finally found the arch and we didn't think we were going to actually find it from this point. So we had a little celebration and we finally got our way through the arch. We're going to put a finally count in this video for how many times we can say finally in one sentence. This is why Holly's not very often on voiceover because she kind of bullies me most of the time or just bullies me general as Brock kind of likes to point out quite a lot. I think they probably had enough of us talking now. But what we'll do guys, we're just going to continue heading out to the deeper part of the reefs here. Around about we can get 20 metres and there's actually a deeper reef line around about 25 metres which is normally full of loads and loads of lionfish. And of course we found lionfish on this dive and we forgot our spears again. This, these lionfish are just always around this reef. It's a great spot for lionfish hunting, but of course, this one managed to live another day, the ones we saw on this dive. I think we saw three in total. So as Kay came across, we come across one of the lionfish. The lionfish are invasive to Bermuda. They're originally from the Indian Pacific Ocean, and we have to actively hunt them because they're just decimating the reefs here. They just eat all the juvenile fish, eat everything around, they have no natural predators and nothing sees them as prey so they're almost the perfect invasive predator but we actively hunt them in Bermuda this one lived another day because we didn't have any spears but I really hope you guys enjoyed coming out exploring this dive site with us and as always guys thank you so much and we'll see you guys the next week see ya, bye okay, enjoy the rest of the video guys